Factor. Of course, Zero, I'm a player who hardly needs any introduction. One of the strongest Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising players in the world with an iconic Charlotta, champion of several tournaments across the way and qualified, I believe, for the Arxis World Tour. Meanwhile, yes. we do have Closer pulling up from Phoenix, Arizona, I presume. It just says Phoenix in all caps on the Star GG <laughs> profile. But has shown up to many events, got ninth place out of 55 at a recent WASD Open, the 41st one, losing to Iago, another player that we've seen make great waves in the competitive scene, but got second place in Grand Blue, actually, at MKO19, which was a multi-game event, so probably one of their offline locals. And now we're gonna see Closer getting the first hit with this Grimnir, a character who has been talk of the town in a lot of ways, especially when you think about how Zayn was able to win ECT last month with this character. Not even just ECT, but I believe also another uh, gold event. At, yeah, gold event actually for Arc World Tour. So plenty of points on the table here for Zane to really step out on top. And Clothes are going to showcase a little bit here of that oh, aerial mobility, but what a shutdown there from Zerom. Equally as strong can be Zerom in the air to air interactions with JL. Certainly going to shut things down. Zerom will take to the wall. And both these characters really excel at being a bully against an opponent once they've been knocked down here. Closer. Having a hard time trying to anti air and stop this uh, Charlotte play, as many have witnessed firsthand. I mean, the thing that's defined this round for me so far, Zero, is how many times Zerom has been able to jump. I've said this time and time again. I feel like the uniqueness about Zerom is in the way that he utilizes jumping with Charlotta to catch the enemy off guard. Closer went in for some Okazemi, Ooh. and Zerom jumped out of it. And then Zerom's mix ups both utilize going for a jump bait to catch Closer trying to manually throw tech and punishing him for it twice. Yeah. And already got the hands locked down for the corner here. 50% on that SBA gauge. Trying to go for here, here a little late, but still got a scoop. That was a little bit cursed. We bust out with the DP. Get off of me. Trying to go for the shimmy right now. Closer able to find the next hit with that incredible bar heavy of in near, we go for the spot dodge. Yeah, we try to call out an early brave counter there. Zeom keeping himself cool. But there it is yet again. The little bit of a delay. And then we jump across the side swap, putting closer into the corner. Why are you teching, my friend? Yeah, we're trying to no. Oh, that's unfortunate. And we should be able to seal the deal. And certainly do. Zerom taking that first game. And that's so tragic. Closer thought they were going to get that little bit of a left-right mix potential here. But I believe that was close heavy that really shut things down there. Zerom going to take the W in immediate course correct with the Raging's chain here. Here we go, trying to advance forward. Yeah. Oh, excellent movement actually there from Closer, able to delay that landing time, but stops the combo, doesn't go for any sort of ender, just gets a standing reset, trying to run a bit of pressure here, walks back Zerom immediately, catching him in Closer. It's just a lesson of the person who tries to shimmy and it never works as opposed to getting shimmied every single time. Zerom still yet to go for these throws. The holy ladder here just for the damage ender, nice. We do have our Demon Flip throw, able to convert in a big damage. Not quite getting the super. We got Whoa. the damage reset there, the double overhead. Yo. <laughs> okay, Zero, I'm okay. Just like, yo, man. Grimnir, heard you like fuzzies. Block this. <laughs> Not quite a fuzzy, but definitely a devious little mix up tool. Yes. Gonna set out the tornadoes, prismatic as it is. We're able to escape the corner, but not able to get offense started. Closer again, trying to go for uh, some of the stagger pressure. Nice conversion off of that dash. Heavy, gonna get a full combo set up with the seals. We're looking for a reversal. Zerom just not scared at all, and that's what I feel like Closer is trying to call out. But Zerom so confident in defense, not willing or even Ooh. motivated, as it were, to bust out with any sort of challenges. Okay, well, we are a couple brave points down. There is actually a significant opportunity here on the side of Closer if we can find our way out of the corner. We go for the mix out of the aerial ah! movement, but unfortunately, the ult gets shut down. We don't have fear to Raging Chain. Oh, the no, spot dodge and Zero will finish this out here. A clean 2-0 victory for Zero. With I mean, near a character who's been heavily reworked and arguably nerfed as well uh, over time in these couple of updates. Both of these players are playing in events like the Clover Clash series. Tenure Mule is pulling up and winning some of the last couple of them, the 21st and the 20th. Meanwhile, uh, Inochi is getting fifth place, so 
We'll have to see what they have in store for us today. Tenor Mule already on the offensive. Got Inochi locked up in the corner, but Oof. death is available. Yeah, honestly, for Inochi, they've been really trying to fight through a lot of this. Ooh, uh, unfortunate okay. circumstance for Nier, right? Nier is one of those characters, as you said, kind of nerfed out. Really trying to make the character shine here. Against a character like Six, who very early on, we kind of thought that Six was the anti Nier character. We might not be seeing that here with the beautiful 2H counter hit. Not able to convert with the ominous turn, but death is still lingering. Yep, walking back. And right now we're waiting for Anochi to get that Love's Redemption stocks back up. We catch Tenor Mule as well. Full screen going to cash out completely. A single point left. So this is massive damage. But even with Seox's nerf, health total, or sixes, I should say, still not enough to get the kill. Anochi going to Brave Counter, so get off of me. We're trading Brave Counters here. We get the Punish jump in. Tenor Mule has one more point to spend. Spends it in order to get the victory in round one. But, I mean, good God, Death's Door. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Tenure Mule, we've seen before here on TNS, not only through Grand Blue, but also through DNF Duel. What a challenge here with the 5L, and you're at three stocks on death. That is going to be a long time before you get another opportunity to convert. 5U will certainly help out here, but a parry from Tenure will steal back the neutral game. Nice jump. Oh, but look at that. Even in that situation, Tenor Mule able to recover an anti-air in time. Goes with a full extension into the Skybound art. Oh, is what I would have said! We dropped the combo. I think Tenor Mule didn't want to go for a normal link. Might have lost track of the combo limit or knew that he was out of it. So Inochi is going to get the side swap into another super setup here. Oh, too far away from the throw! And so Tenor Mule gets the next middle offense. Brave counter, get off of me, Inochi. Doesn't have death, so we are just a mid-dispensing machine. Tenor Mule not scared at all. Gets the combo launch. And baits the brave counter with one last jump over. It's going to be game one over to Tenured Mule, but Anachi keeping things incredibly close. Just needs to find those crucial hits to close it out. Yeah, honestly, that walk up gate of demons there was certainly devastating. You do get this corner carry off the wall, get the dash H. Surprised we're spending a brave point here, but we can still reset this into empty hand. Dive kick! Oh my god! Phase just outside of block range for Inochi, who again tried to go for a brave counter, but instead got counter hit on the raging strike with a close heavy. Tenor Mule gonna be able to cash out into the skybound arc. Guess for round situation here from Inochi. Wow, early snake bite there, good block. We are plus two on that situation there, but guard cancel is gonna help things out a little bit for Inochi, a little bit too far for the dash L. We're just able to give a quick little butt press here for the finish. Battle two. All right, Tenure Mule here at potential set point. This is a top 16 qualifying match, so this is still a pools match as it is. Tenure Mule able to get the 6-6-M. Trying to run a little bit of offense here. We're seeing Fuzzy Mash off from Minochi. Gets the close, rather than the 6-6-L. Combo regenerates. Death's going to be off cooldown pretty quickly here, but what a sweep challenge from Tenure Mule, recognizing the gap. Gated Demons, dive kick right after. does begin. It's the threat of death here. You don't know when the ominous turn is going to come through. Nice little interrupt with the light from Anochi. Oof. Two H's. Okay, but you can see Tenure Mule recognizing that in all of this empty space, like going for the immediate option, probably going to be met with a very quick reaction. So just adding in the feints to get the mental stack. Good Lord, there's that damage coming on through. That's what happens when you lose those two brave counters, get to take an extra 30% all those options and now Inochi able to force round three. It's always unfortunate. Where, right when you go for that empty hand there at the EX, you just hold on to it. You can't get the follow up right after the jump heavy there. A little bit tragic, but at least Tenure Mule still not too bad off here. We do have our usual reset side swap off the five unit. Parry. Getting a lot of mileage out of that here. And look at this, Tenure Mule doing everything in his power to try and steal the turn back. Inochi not falling for any of the bait. Cashes out, and good lord, again! That was like a whole chunk of life! That is one of the things about this version of Nier. It's incredibly easy and consistent for Nier to get into those explosive Skybound art ranges because you, your consumption of the Love's Redemption stocks are so massive now. I mean, just look at this. We start up at full 13, we're down to 9. We stop at 9 just to make sure that our cooldown is reduced as much as possible. Can you only run some offense? Ooh. Oh, Perry here, the forward special coming from Anochi. Nice paint. And again, it's always his patience here on the approach. Oh, but the Gated Demons opens up. 
Nice call from Tedra Buell. Spends the EX version to get this full conversion. Oh, oh no. Look at that mash there from Inanchi. I'm not sure if they recognize something fake about Tenure Mule's setup or just had an OS on hand that Tenure Mule did not run more offense. Pixel in a dream. But we are at chip kill range. However, Inanchi gets any aired. And that's going to be the round for Tenured Mule. That would have been so hard for Inochi anyway. It completely out of death stocks. You had about 15 seconds of no puppets to fight in that neutral situation. So even getting a chip kill would have been monumental. Can you hold on? It's air to air. Buys a little bit of time here. Just get death out. But what a snipe here. Demons again. Back special to come through. What a 2 H. Able to carry immediately with the six claw execution. And he will build up super. This time we don't drop it either. You know she's gonna be put into a best for game situation. Yeah, Rave will block the cross up. Rave counter to put Tender Mule back in the corner. Ultimate fatal Walt. So just stagger, go low, catching Tender Mule, thinking about that dashing overhead of Nears. A couple of bombos to make sure that our death. <laughs> is as restocked as possible. Was that four or five of those? I think it was like four. <laughs> so many little seconds back. Oh, oh we no! get caught on the tail end! No! The recovery from the evasion counter hit punished by Tenured Mule's ultimate skill. And that season's so, you know, help these players. Help these players out, you know, make sure that they can afford on that. Like a nice little present for one of their loved ones. That's the way I argue it. And take care of your loved ones, too. And here we go. We're going to see the battle set up right now. Tons of history between these two players. And honestly, the thing, only thing I want for Christmas Santa is FGCombo.com. And it's new version of the website to come on out and have all kinds of data on Street Fighter 6, Scramble Fantasy versus Rise, and Guilty Gear Strive. I need to see the stats here. I need to see yeah. Oh, already got the medium to start things off here. Heavy, just gonna get the plus frames off the gauntlet swing. And of course, if you have the medium special, right? The quick snipe to shut things down. That's gonna be the tricky aspect of closing the gap against 2B. It will be the medium special. That 2M into the back EX special could have been huge. Yep. Oh, nice air to air. Dragalia running and looking and trying to scout out a potential mirage from laid way back. Speaking of. Dragalia gets caught on the advance too heavy, and even without the counter hit, we still have the combo ready to go. So excellent routing there. Go for the throw, Shimmy, but Layway Back knows that that combo would have killed him. So respect the damage there, and just say, I'll take the throw in this situation. Speaking of. Opener here. Raging Chain. You do have one more opportunity to do it. You can't quite kill on the side of uh, 2B here, but you can certainly set up this gravity bomb situation. No! Oh, we fainted out with the Aerial Crescent Moon, catching Layway Back, trying to press a preemptive Brave counter. And he has such a strong system mechanic, it's tempting to use it, and thus bailing it becomes a monumental effort. And look at that, perfectly waiting out. All of Tubi's aerial options are getting the anti-air. Dragalia looking clean, but laid me back, it's time to play. No dash up L, another stagger L again. Not close enough to the corner for the back special to be converted, but would have run up 5-H. We did have a follow through off of that laid way back, just expected a block. Nice jump in. Yeah, too high up for a follow-up. Mm -hmm. One throw, two throw. Now he's gonna have to start thinking about these. Spends a brave Ooh. point. Oh, oh no, oh, not able to block in time there. We just opened right up, actually, after the 5-H. Yo, Mirage. Yeah. Set it up. Okay, we're gonna set down the bombs, and we just use Pod at a distance, catching button press from Dragalia. So, David Mack is gonna be able to tie up the rounds here. Nice, too far away for the follow-up. What a whip punish here from Layway back off light series alone. Nice. Counter poke here from Dragalia. Look at that, even going for a reset on the other side instead of taking the knockdown. Trying to just optimize the corner position and everything. Maybe we back at some offense oh, here. Oh. No! <laughs> she swung for the fences and struck gold. That's crazy. And this air-to-air -air conversion. Not able to finish in DP, but thank goodness you only did the light version, so you have the quicker recovery. Okay, brave counter, get away from me. Kelly will spend another one. There's the Mirage again from laid way back. Being very aggressive with that Spenditure. Dragalia completely out of Brave Stock. But laid way back gets caught by the cross up. Not holding the block button. Not able to react in time. Dragalia not able to get the kill though. Needed to burn one more Brave counter point. The empty jump again baiting laid way back's Brave counter attempt. Wow. We.
Yeah, that was excellently played by Dragalit here, getting outside those maximum ranges here. It looked transient. Like I said, will certainly be a way to kind of close that gap against 2B, make great opener opportunities when she's committed to the medium series or any just combination strike series if you can get to the opposite side. Just like this year again, Dragalia in control, but leaving out a medium Zetsna is not a good oh. look when you're in 5H range. Eight way back, just a little uncharacteristic right now, dropping some conversions that I feel like otherwise would be so cleanly picked up from Dragalia too, having that issue at that pretty far away range on the ultimate Ooh. Tetsuna. The shimmy comes through this time using that Crescent Moon, catching Leeway back, trying to take a throw. Maximum damage here. Nice. Dragalia really picking it right back up here, maintaining that control for a roundup. Oh boy, yeah, let's be patient. Tried to sneak up that two wave. Not a terrible call. We've seen it work time and time again on the side of Dragalia. The patience has paid off before. There is the dash cancel. Need to go for a quick little throw. Dash yet again. Oh. Yeah, back, trying to manually take a throw. Gets caught out. So now Dragalia is going to get the combo. A little bit of damage. Extending the pressure here. Wow. Very brave from Layway back. But you, oh no! In. Second time that Layway back has dropped that connection into 2B's 5 Heavy. After going for that ultimate laser, just not quite working. And again, falling for the shimmy. But no finish from Dragalia. Last interaction there, Layway back. If they would have done earlier oh. on the jump heavy, would have been punished by the 2H from Dragalia. But this Setsuna, the crumple state, will allow for victory here. Dragalia takes it 2-0 over Layway back. Go for the crumple state alt skills that 2B has. Those are kind of slam dunks, but the timing can be pretty iffy if you're not committed to it. We'll see how the rest of the bracket plays out, but we do have our next match. As you said, have a nice day versus Iago. It will be that Beelzebub versus Fairy here. Yeah, have a nice day having a plethora of characters under their disposal, actually. But Bubs, especially with these version of Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising, where he's had several buffs to the character. A few simple ones, but have a lot of implications for the character's pressure as well as overall combo routing. Ooh. We get the dive kick right here. It's going to be a full pickup as well. Tons of damage off that starter. Iago locked up in the corner. Worst place for Fairy to be. We get the Karma Oki set up, and now have a nice day running offense. Iago trying to find their turn. Oh, she's missing the dive kick and just barely Iago was a literal frame away from having to hold at the very least block stun on that situation. Don't forget GG to convert. There we go. So it appears you have to be careful. You can't run this down, but the problem is that Beelzebub with that teleport oh. <laughs> could very much give up that ground that you just gained there if you try to chase too strong. Yeah, and even then we're seeing that Have a Nice Day knows this range to go with max full range dive kicks oh, as no. well. And oh, something happened right there. We get yeah. caught by the swarm of flies. That was definitely supposed to be spot dodge right there. We just unfortunately did not input at the right timing. Okay, we do get a short little punish right there. Have a Nice Day's dive kick on cooldown. Iago trying to create some space. But you're running out of it as slowly but surely you are pushing into the corner now. Have a Nice Day able to run offense. Let's frame pressure. Ooh, good jump back here, but the ult dive kick. It was off of a fadeaway, too. Good shot. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. Able to convert off this corner, extend as far as possible. Excellent. All right, uses the ultimate dive kick to end the combo as well. Just book ending it. Extend and stabilize with the Raging Strike and Chain. Trying to cash out with as much damage as possible, but I think the combo limit is going to be reached. No. Have a nice day. Just finds a very simple 6 XL to close out game one. Yeah, complete control from Have a Nice Day here in the set. Wow. Beppo to start things off here, the EX version. Gonna get a little bit of breathing room. But look at this fairy. She sticks out these long normals that do have a little bit of recovery to them. And Have a Nice Day just able to jump over them and punish them at ranges that. I feel like many other characters in Grand Blue just aren't able to do. Iago has to respect this dive kick, tries to get their own offense started. Excellent use of Beppo, buying a little bit more space. Have a nice day, immediately using that dive kick once it's off cooldown. Iago is going to set up the level two, not as any sort of combo game, but just as pressure. But have a nice day, fades away, keeps her at oh, bay. No! Nah, fam! You did fairy like that? That's crazy. That was two fadeaways as well, just even while the super was already there and what a conversion from have i say a single input into super wasn't gonna go full animation 
but still that spacing away from the super that Iago had put out there did little to help Iago try to maintain an edge. Mm -hmm. so Beppo again, but now Iago's used that cooldown, so have a nice day. Basically has sort of access to going to the sky, and that's why you see Iago spend the ultimate skill with Beppo just to check have a nice day's aerial approaches. We jump and snipe it out. This is a really good round for Iago, but have a nice day alleviates the pressure with the reversal. Oh. He tried to roll away, but we still have to load and knock him down. Work is tricky being in this corner position the way that Iago is trying to lock things down with no brave points. Have a nice day, so it's a massive opportunity. We are so oh no, forgot about GG and look at the fuzzy. So little damage here, and Iago gets caught by the low follow up, taking extra 50% damage on this combo. Have a nice day, cuts it short. Ultimate swarm just to keep pressure on. Iago is able to kind of press a button, try to check this offense. We see Karma come through, but. Super as well, and have a nice day. Just gonna walk all the way back. Oh, <laughs> there's the snipe. Not quite able to land in the GG, so it actually works out in favor for have a nice day. But with no health on the line, things could Very really scary. get dire. Yeah, Iago got one break point back from that super spender. Have a nice. No, there's no shot. Ah! Oh my God! I thought that was too late. Like that is the answer to play here for Have a Nice Day. This is I literally a run back now. Castiel, you've had a week. Uh, yeah. If it pull if up. it's gonna be Lucilius, then this is gonna be very interesting here. Let's see what we've learned out of this one because we do have great ways to close the gap against Garbaya. Dash L, not necessarily the the greatest at round start for Lucilius, but a safe bet. All right, you know, Castiel, not only getting ninth at the last Grand Blue bracket that TNS hosted, but also was able to get fourth at the 41st WASD Open. So definitely has that experience and capabilities getting these top eights, but I mean, this is just, <laughs> oh, reality is so funny. I yo, no, man, that's stuff like that, that's, that ain't right. You don't, you don't count it. out Normai, you don't count out K-Tang. The maneuverability with these crescent slashes is gonna be, oh. you see this, I'm telling you. Is the walk down. See, I said this earlier with Dragali on the screen, right? Oh, oh no, no, please! K Tang not like get this. you up! Wait a minute! Zero, we're going a little too hard on the praise. Instead, it becomes a bit of a curse. SDL dropping the Paradise Lost. K Tang able to survive. Guess for game situation here. Trying to force the chip kill sequence. Able to block the cross up. Dobby set up the fireball. Armor from Castiel to survive. That was so slick, but we finally find the hit. Okay, that was spicy. That that backdash was everything right there. Once the DP was off the table, backdash into our next special for the chip kill and sent it home. And that is unfortunate. But yeah, K-Tang though, traditionally very aggressive on the walk-up, really well known for controlling the pace when it comes to the strike throw guessing game here, but you're gonna have to play a different one of your own against Lucilius with that quick little teleport. Level three, we're playing real grand blue with an interrupt here in a raging chain from Castiel. Uh, but the two of you not able to combo. So now we're under a tank's pressure. Cassio Big Chillin though has a massive light lead as well as blade level four. So I mean, practically speaking, just needs to wait for their opening to close this one out. Gets the level five. But no, we didn't have it when we went for the Iscariot. So we didn't get the follow-up extension. Would have been the round in the game with it. Cassio just slow playing this. Whoa. Okay. I mean, you're trying to go for chip here is what you're going for. And that yeah. will succeed. It's the third shot you got to worry about here for the spot dodge to really try to get the finish. You had some meter though, could have done. I'm curious in that exact scenario if the alt crescent slash would have worked out for you here or if you would have gotten sniped out by the super. It might have all been depending on so many variables like the timing. Like we saw Castiel delay one of those file ups, probably looking for that spot dodge that you mentioned. K Tang wasn't one to give it. But just like that, Castiel up one and zero. And I have to stress that in the last meeting, they didn't even take a game from K Tang. So already a dramatic improvement from their previous encounter. Oh, nice block in the overhead there. That's a triple attack. Oh, interesting. Still committed to that dash L despite the disappearance of Castiel. Good command grab or hit grab, rather. Mm -hmm. Oh, gonna get the combo here, punishing that 5L. Okay, Tang now gets the combo. Setsuna for the wall bounce. Full combo and extension. We get the knockdown. What's the That's mix not, game, girl? Oh, oh. That's not an easy combo to pull off, especially at the height that K Tang was able to convert it from that 2M conversion. We do get the crumple state. 50% meter left. 
Not quite at combo limit, and this should do. Yeah, we got the limit there, so you need your final hit. One throw, two throw. They clash. Kang able to get struck by Castiel, though, as the far L able to reach out just barely. Castiel has to try and optimize his combo. One raging strike into chain, and that is enough, actually. The damage buffs from the level five blade able to come on through. Castiel now sitting at set point, about to try and get into top eight. Oh! Beautiful snipe here with the DP. Opened up off Crescent Slash. Not a good look here at Castiel. Gonna really hurt for this one. We do get the crumple. Yes, I do like the fact that we're not committing to reset the throw. Even if you recall, K Tang was notorious for going for crumple state reset. Let's try and throw here and gives up their pressure immediately after the fact here. This time committing for damage. I staggered. Oh, but the 5L challenge from Castiel able to expose the gap in K Tang's attempt at offense. Oh, I don't even know what side that was supposed Woo! to hit on. K-Ting landed on the same side, it seemed like, and Castiel is going to drop a round here. It's actually K-Ting's first round victory of the set. Trying to hold on to this loser side run to get in the top eight themselves. Oof. Chain here. Literally on the cusp for level three. K-Ting, if we get that brave counter out of the corner, Side swap is crucial here. Oh, that was prime position. Go for Andy. I wonder why we didn't believe. Sometimes it's hard to believe that mm -hmm. so strong would get his. Five L again. Castiel gets that blade level five. Honestly, the next touch for Castiel can kill an NK Tank's bracket run. Oh, no medium. Yeah, I know you're at level five. It's it's home free at that point. You have to convert. Them. Oh, oh no! All right, you do build enough meter here for your super. You can finish the job, and here it is. Hey Tang, will steal a game. This is so close and intense. It was K Tang under the pressure who was able to find that crucial hit and get the confirm. And I mean, I said it myself at that particular situation. Castiel just needed to convert a hit, had that counter hit far light. But no follow-ups. I have to remember what cooldowns were available. I think Iscariot was. But I could be wrong right there. But either way, Cassio just didn't do a follow-up. And, you know, let K-Tang then get that next opportunity. It happens to the best of us, right? You go for that stray hit, and you, you don't convert with the right thing. I've done it so many times. It's just like, oh, if I would have done OD, you'd be dead right here. Instead, I just went for the regular, and we're, we're square at this point, right? All right, so got our launcher. We'll get the super. There it is. A little high up there, actually. I was kind of concerned. Okay, Tang now running this offense, trying to get into the top eight where he can take on Iago, who's able to qualify. Iago taking down Mitosis 2 and 0. Castiel would certainly love the opportunity to get into the top eight, especially doing it after defeating the person who denied him that chance last week. But it seems like K Tang, after two very clutch rounds, the previous game is finally within his groove. Okay. <laughs> Grand Blue is a game. <laughs> Just teleport on the other side, and then Cassiel says, Why are you swinging over there, girl? Look behind you. Just following you home. That's all I'm doing. Oh, stagger. Does get the 5L opener. What do you got here? You are going to spend. Did he even bother spending a brave point here for this one? Yeah. Oh, and there's that shimmy oh, yet done. again. You're, yeah, this, this should be it, I think. Oh, wait. There it is. Okay. Can't be worried oh. on the route right there, K7, but you got it. I, I need to just believe you got the route. Second purchase, <laughs> but no more last second preparation. It's time to get to the main course of tonight's bracket. We are pulling up to our top eight first match of winter semifinals. Have a nice day on the player two side with Beelzebub up against Tenured Mule on six. Let's just get it. I'll tell you, I've been, uh, so this week I've changed up into six, but you know, as I've told you before, every season I try to change into a different character, I'm on six now. And boy, this character is just a ton of fun once again, right? Like I've been tabling in the lab a little bit, done some casual play, but now it's the rank time. And Tenure Mule is not getting to showcase why this character is fun to play right now, because have a nice day, it's really showing off why Beelzebub can hurt. Yeah. Been 
some of the talk, some circles here about how strong Bubs is in this patch. Some would argue a top seven placement. I'll let y'all decide for yourselves. Tenure Mule starting off really strong right now. Gonna be able to just cash out with the Skybound R, take a break point away from Have a Nice Day, regenerate one of his own. Ooh, and excellent block there on the cross of attempt. Unless Have a Nice Day was doing a little micro walk forward just to make sure that he could corner Tenure Mule. A little closer at the tapes in the situation. Hey, yo. Okay, we're playing at this level. Good air to air here. Does get the convert after the snake bite. Is that enough here? Yes, the maximum range on the far heavy. Thank goodness for that raging strike, because I don't know, that was so far away that I'm not sure if the raging chain would have connected there. There's been some, well, it connects. What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely some spaghetti, though. I almost thought that the raging strike was going to drop. Yeah. Tenor Mule knows his combo routes. Ted, have a nice day under duress right now. Gets the dive kick through. And, like, don't forget right now that have a nice day, if I remember correctly, with Beelzebub, you know, that dive kick in DP, they Ooh. share the same cooldown now. Mm -hmm. So whenever he uses it, does not have access to that reversal option. The Fly is going to be able to stop the jump of the Tenure Mule. Now have a nice day. A little bit of offense cooking. Gosh, oh, what a parry. Excellent timing here. Not quite your turn forever when I got a parry. We're still hey, able to cover top for a 2H, gate of demons, and we still get the corner position. Oh, nice interrupt here with the dash L. How about I still gonna have to bully their way out of this corner? Uh, okay, triple strike overhead, but it is for the poke at the end of the day. Have a nice day, completely out of brave points. Tender Mule, I mean, genuinely any hit kills, even a throw, I think, at this range. Especially now. We'll see what our next strike is. We do have enough meter here as we keep walking up for the alt. Six claw execution, there it is, and chip is imminent. Have a nice day for that next important hit, but <laughs> it's Tenure Mule just advancing with the claws, catching Have a Nice Day, who really couldn't make any aggressive movement, just has to respect the fact that Tenure Mule could go into the Demon Gate at any point to try and contest this neutral space. Oh, yeah, max range, get off the wall here, dash L conversion. That's actually a great setup here. It uses the safety net of the, the Gate of Demons here. The over it does get blocked, so we give up our turn. Oh, nice to you. Again, Tenure Mule so on point with using that sweep to catch the opponent trying to move forward or backwards. Stop their offense. Huge opportunity here. It's a close, heavy starter. Counter hit too. Have a nice day. Gonna cash out tons of meter. Use the 5U to get in range for a dash light. Now, time to slow down for a little bit of neutral. Wow, flag threats, chat. Yeah, it's all because of that singular mistimed snake bite into the corner. We should have been able to have this corner much longer ago, but now we do have the SSBA. Strips it all away, two brave points, and we should be getting pretty close to the cost of victory here, if not, this kills. And yeah, it's there. Just one more touch that you need. Have a nice day. Gonna be fighting with every bit of power that they have. Oh. Gets the guard crush into the kill! Catching Tenor Mule, blocking the flies to allow the guard crush set up with the ultimate karma. A nice day finds a way. You know, you couldn't find a better name move. The ultimate karma for dropping a single interaction there at that EX Ender. It was supposed to be the snake bite. Ground bounce in the mid screen for corner. Tenor Mule is still suffering from the effects of that mistake. Have a nice day is not letting go. What a bait on the DP, but all Tenure Mule got for that was a single normal's worth of damage. No follow-up, no combo available, or found at the very least. Have a nice day, tries to evade forward to get out of the corner. There's a little bit of a poke tax, but again, ultimate six claw execution. Tenure Mule, second hit they've gotten with it. Comes Fort offense. Fortunately, not a punish right there. It was just open on defense. The same thing here. But this is going to be a pricey mistake. If we were blocking through the spot dodge, we would have survived. But Tenure Mule going to finish the job here and now. We'll put up a round. Now, if Tenure Mule is able to win this round, punch his ticket to winner's final of tonight's bracket. Have a nice day. Trying to tie up the set count. Launch into the corner. Full pickup as well. Mm -hmm. Going to get the Oki. I'm surprised we didn't go for the dash H right there. We've traditionally seen that. I wonder if it was just a height issue. But we saw that in the last set for Tenure Mule to go. That was the go-to. Yeah, the Thunder Flash able to punish. Have a nice day for going back for the turn. And there it is, right? We're able to go through the flies. 6XL full combo as well. Tenure Mule just might be getting into winner's final with this conversion. 
Yeah. Six. Seven. Six solidifying their position in winners finals on the side of Tenure Mule best players in the world so this is where you get to cut your teeth against some of the strongest competition that you have to really help you push even further beyond in the course of zero i'm with the set means our winner's final is going to be a repeat of the winner's final in texas showdown this year hey yo no that zero that was foul hold up hey this is the movement of zero i'm able to make this quick little cross on here i mean this squirrely little devil out here ah! oh no he can't keep getting away with this zero. These jump shimmies. You can't be throwing. You just don't throw against zero. You just gotta hold and pray. Let the late tech come out. That's fine. No. All right. Our cancel here. It doesn't go off in the favor of uh, Dracalia necessarily, but it's all that you can really do to survive for these last few moments. One touch closes it out. And oh. yes, indeed, we got the noble strategy to finish the job. Dragalia. Again, I'm kind of like seeing some similar behaviors from what I saw with Closer, right? Like he's like trying to bait out some aggressive choices for Zerom, but Zerom choosing jump as his first defensive option in the rotation. So I feel like Dragali needs to establish a bit of that offense and make Zerom get a little scared first. Oh, the ultimate crushing move not going to uh, catch. Okay, that raging strike not able to really stabilize things for Zerom. Nice. Got the helm split right there to call out that medium version of Setsuna there. What a reset in the low, zero. You, you sly dog, you. You really did that. You, you really did that. So, yo, here's a Black Friday sale for you. I'm gonna take more of that life bar. All right, not oh. quite able to finish the job, but that's fine. Little shimmy. You can get that too well to finish it. Dragalia just, again, a little antsy on this defense, kind of falling for all the tricks that we've seen from Zero so far in this bracket run. Helm Splitter gonna get some offense started. Dragalia, take a turn. And you can see that Zerom even anticipated that Crescent Moon, try to air throw it. Yep. I mean, that would've been the set. I would've just been like, all right, it's over. <laughs> yeah, just unplug the control, I'll see you. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, okay. I see this is a one player game, right? He, this isn't even a match. This is just Zerom's training mode footage, you know? Not it's quite your there opponent, yet. It's when your opponent plays Misty, and uh, unfortunately there's Articuno on the opposite side. EX Articuno, <laughs> you've already lost. Seven coins in, and it's all water energy. That's what it was. <laughs> nice 2-H right here from Dragalia holding ground and says, okay, I recognize you're not throwing me, but you are a jumpy little guy, so hold this. Get the standing reset. Very k tang S, like you called out. We get the stagger to catch out an attempt at a Brave Counter, and there it is, Dragalia tightening up the offense, making Zeram go, okay, I need to actually escape this somehow, and now you're getting the hits. Let's see if Zero can really kind of control the pace like we did that first game. Late tech. Oh, oh patience goes a long way on both sides here. And Zero certainly gets the, the better of it. Checking there. Nice. Able to see that the noble strategy was coming up, so we just immediately went for the DP. Zero though with that holy ladder to get things started. A little back and forth right now. Okay, spaghetti. 6XL, full confirm. Okay, Dragalia finally landing a few throws. Second, couple two outs there. Look at the jump back, aerial button, not quite gonna work. Dragalia able to block him just in the nick of time with no break points on your side. This is really gonna hurt. Oh, you're going yeah. for chip. Yeah, I'm trying to set yep. that up, oh, Crescent no. Moon. And huge! Dragalia waits! Ah, no! It's the safe jump! It's, you don't do that! Not against Zero! That's the safe jump! Dragalia trying to find like the biggest possible hit and reward, but instead of going for a too heavy, wanted to get the iframes oh. from the super, but it was too slow. Anything cinematic in this game, the iframes are quick, but the active frames, they take some time to kick in. Let's get the corner with the jump. Dragalia. Again, fighting on one axis of this screen, but Zerom is using two. Uh, yeah, both taking an action at the exact same time. Oh, holy ladder, get off me, please. Yeah, but now Dragalia, right? He's more than comfortable trying to go for some real aggressive plays, and so we're seeing the DPs and the reversals come out from Zerom now. Going for an empty jump low. Oh, what a huge crush! That was such a late run. Dragalia risking so much just to get this hit onto Zerom. Draw your sword. Very good finish. 
very great risk, as you said, to even get to this point here. Nice victory for Dragalia, tying it up one all in the set. I mean, looking at how Dragali has just leveled up in isolation of this set, right? Like playing and falling for all of Zerom's tricks, but now forcing Zerom to take things a little more seriously. He says, okay, I can't just jump against you. I gotta rotate my options. I gotta bust out some reversals. But now the pressure has intensified from Zerom. Look at this, Zero. Even taking the turn back with a DB, you savage. Oh, oh, wait, oh no! Oh, no. That 2H is so unfortunate there. It was supposed to call out Zerom's jump arc and it finds no pass here. We do get the Raging Chain to finish the job. Zerom steals around. Yeah, Dragalia trying to run the offense, getting the frame traps and everything, but Zerom with that iconic Engage. movement of his just somehow able to avoid all of that. Goes for the counter, not able to catch. We get a punish, but no full pickup. Dragalia finds the gap in DPs. Being aggressive, swaps the stance as well, so we have access to the armor DP. No! <laughs> The crown of like Charlotta caught there, man. Like that ass. Hey, but we got the call out here. Five U recovery. We'll be punished here. Dragalia going for big damage opportunity. Oh, nice. Actually goes for light for quicker recovery there on the DP. Mm -hmm. Plus frames, frame trap. Zero on force has been another break point. One left. But Dragalia goes back to teching throws. And now look at this. You're going to be taking so much damage. Being forced all the way into the corner. Was the throw really so scary? We are once again, guard cancel. Ooh, 2M, we're still able to guard right there as well. Zero has spent the last break point. No any air, right probably spends theirs. Press the moon, same side. Zero, I'm just holding that guard button. The strike low. We tried to any air! We tried to any air at the end, but Zero will find the hit. Noble strategy and get himself into winner's final. An excellent showing from Dragalia. With all of its system mechanics, there's a free version so you can try it out before you commit to buying it with rotating characters. Always check that out. But right now you should be checking out this loser's top eight match between Yoru Sensei and nothing. Oh my goodness. So yeah, you want to talk about very tricky jump arcs. Let's take a look at 2B here, right? Especially on the side of Yoru Sensei who does have some of this float shenanigans here that can really mess things up for Ladiva. And now, Yejin, I understand that you may dislike this matchup here, but it's nothing <laughs> you're talking about here. <laughs> Two SPDs in, we're in the corner already, and it's about to be a nightmare stereo. Thank God you have a Mirage oh! at the very least, but there's no escape. You act like you've never seen this before, Yejin. This, this is nothing. This that. is just purely Ladiva gameplay. I mean, this isn't the first 2B that nothing's had to take down in bracket. In order to get into this top eight, they had to eliminate laid way back, actually. So nothing's reward is to go on a bit of a 2B gauntlet. But is Ladiva the savior from Android kind? We'll find out. I mean, honestly, the way that nothing has played against these 2Bs before, I wouldn't be surprised to see, uh, you know, another turn up. Oh, nice 2H. That could have been huge, actually. But we didn't have the meter on the skill gauge for Yaru to convert that 2H. Oh, what a challenge off the 2L and nothing taking that first round. Battle two. Goodness gracious. Yeah, honestly, Ladiva here, we've seen before, though, like, unfortunately for late way back, this is a tough matchup, a personal tough matchup for them against Ladiva. We've seen that before. Uh, but for nothing, the way that they play this Ladiva, they're very in your face, able to call things out and go through a lot of SPD cycles. We've seen resets in the corner that really catch people Ooh. off guard, but man, nothing beats just a pure raw 2H from 2B. Yeah, and we're seeing that nothing's current call out structure has been to go for these jump ins and Yoru Sensei slowing down their offense just enough to catch them with anti airs. Now, Yoru Sensei gonna spend the skybound gauge. Get it, boys. I, I gotta ask. Have you ever seen a 2D convert off a of thorn like that? I'm not sure if I have. I don't think I have either. That was amazing, Yoru Sensei. Thank you so much for that info. Ooh. Scoop him. All right. Now, this isn't going to be a kill, but Yoru Sensei is completely out of brave points. So all any damage that they take is going to be 50% extra. Whoa. Okay, but we don't get a punish on that anymore because of the nerfs to 2B. Previous patch that would have been able to be a punish, but in that situation, when 2B lands that counter against 6XL, it's simply her turn. Yo, okay, Ladiva, say with your whole chest, girl. Hold up, pull up. Oh, ah! yep, had great patience there. Not going for the 2H. Calls out the Thorn, and this will do. Nothing can convert this to death. That's the ultimate scoop. Elbow drop on him. 
nothing. Unstoppable by all of these two Bs so far. Is 1-0 up on Yoru Sensei. Looking to make the bracket run into a quarterfinal. This is not going to be a walk in the park. I might have gassed up nothing in their ability to navigate the 2D space, but this is certainly going to be a hard-fought victory if nothing can make it. Here we go. Dash L into the SBDs. Don't you jump. Yeah, you got to go through these guard cancels. Yeah, but it's all the light version of them too, so that's why we're not seeing this massive corner carry from La Diva. And now nothing put into the opposite corner. Ooh. Gets a jump in. Oh, thought they had the conversion, I mm -hmm. think. But Yoru Sensei, by the skin of their teeth, able to escape by chance. Full combo into the uh, skybound art. Oh, oh no! The okay, that's brave of you. Very interesting. I wonder if we just missed the Mirage attack. Like, I had to believe that was the thing that you're going for. We've seen Yoru mm. kind of crack under that pressure before, but not get blown up to the attempt. Nice body oh. splash. Yeah, and this is why you see nothing go to the sky so often, right? Yoru wants to occupy the screen with those huge whiff cancel 2B normals, but nothing is just saying, go ahead, swing that big sword. I'll catch you, uh -huh. just like here. Uh huh. This is nothing we're talking about here. When nothing gets a read on you, there's nothing you can do to get out of that corner. Absolutely nothing. Catch him with the run up. Whoa, what a mash there from Yoru Sensei. Maybe it wasn't a misinput Mirage. Maybe we just said, screw it, I mash. But look at that. Nothing again takes to the skies, and Yoru Sensei is going to fall yet again as nothing has added two of two Bs to their kill count in this bracket so far. And K Tang, Kevin! On that Narmaya, let's go ahead and get into this one. I only think of Home Alone when you say Kevin. That's all Kevin. I think. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot Kevin! I would have said that, you know, if he didn't make top eight. Be like, oh, well, we forgetting this top eight. Oh, we forgot Kevin! He's sitting out there now. <laughs> Not this time, no. We brought Kevin along for the top eight ride. <laughs> Kevin is here. A very early Crescent Flash. I should have called out like a button coming out from Fairy there. Ooh. All right. Watch right now. Get behind Gigi. Yeah. Look at that. Iago just says, like, I'm trying to play some neutral here, and you're just doing all this neutral skip stuff, man. Like, say cool. Oh, get caught at the ankles. It's going to be a decent combo for K-Tang. Next hit should be able to kill. Ooh. Yeah, alt up dog here. Going to hold on to this GG play. Just biding our time here. Certainly gonna get the wall bounce. What a snipe off the center. Ah! Too far for the 2 of conversion though. Chip kill range though, and Iago had to make a commitment. K Tang just able to be belligerent and press more buttons. There's nothing as finally looked at the bracket and realized, wait, I have to fight Hava? Why is Hava a nice day in losers? Tenure Mule going, why not? That's savage, Tenure Mule. <laughs> it's just like, what are you trying to say about me, bro? <laughs> Well, if you want to fight six, you got to win, so... Mm -hmm. True, true, true. There's still a chance. Nice nice chance. Watch here. Strike, dose for reset here for light series. Get the plus for it, though! No! It was all going according to plan, but unfortunately, k take. Never mind. Don't worry about it. It was all according to plan. You just wanted to give hope. You give your opponent mm -hmm. hope before you, you know, close it out. Makes the spare even more crushing. <laughs> I understand you, I understand you. <laughs> Chat's having a wonderful debates, right? <laughs> Look, y'all are just saying the same stuff that we said at the end of Vanilla. Like, it's fine. Yeah, right. At this point, we're several years in. <laughs> mm -hmm. And actually, look at this. Iago choosing to go with Ooh. a different zoner character. Pulls out the Fane, actually. Just to have a little bit more of some belligerence potentially in this neutral. Yeah, like if you're not going to get shields out, this is going to be a nightmare scenario for you. Do you get an energy destruction to pull through? There we go. Shield, yep. you sit right on top. You wait for the Setsna. Heck, you even wait for some of the Rekka series here, which doesn't come out. Yeah, chilling on the shield. Refresh it, but look at that. K-Tang waits and goes in with the dash. We bust out with our reversal. Going for some of our destruction. Oh! Yes! yes. Nice. Launch it, full conversion. Let's get another hit. Ah! Oh. No Raging Strike or Chain there. Kind of surprised from Iago, but perhaps... Chain just needs, a, you know, maybe a little more tuning, maybe a little unfamiliarity, and also you have all that um, fairy muscle memory that you're dealing with right now. But look at that, Iago. 
huge difference here as the switch to Vayne is able to win round one in fairly convincing fashion, I'd say. Chat, I, I'll be honest with you, this should work. If you play a strong zoning game with Vayne, this does work out. The shield helps. It forces K-Tang to have to spend this EX follow-up or even go for ults to pass through the shield. You absorb that single hit, but usually arm destruction is falling right behind it. Now, corner game, completely different story. This sucks for Vayne. Outside of going for your ult forward special here, Vayne is in trouble. You could yeah, go for five U, but that still gets called out by Narmaya play, especially the way that K-Tang likes to go for aggressive slash. Oh no. We'll pick up right here. K-Tang able to close that round out, and we've seen basically like the two extremes with Vayne so far, right? Getting that mid-screen presence in the first round, able to control things pretty consistently. Nine K-Tang's approaches, but then locked down in the corner, and K-Tang once again able to deal with our shield. Checks the approach. It's a run up throw, and now fades oh, out. No. Oh, this could be the beginning of the end zero, I'm, I'm afraid. I mean, as I said in that last round, this is all that Yago has in terms of reversal, right? You, of course, have your universal mechanics, but you need to get that arm destruction opportunity here. You could go for five U, but it's just easily avoided. All right, shields up. Shields Deep up, we go running. for the run throw. Oh, oh, huge hit right here, actually. This could be big damage for Iago. Maybe the swing of momentum. They get the Super Skybound art, able to cash on out. This will regenerate a break point for them and strip two away from K-Tang. This will be heroic if Iago pulls this off. Shields up. Yeah, but that's just an easy approach here from K-Tang. I'm surprised K-Tang was already pulled. Oh, no, the chip no. is certainly there for the crumpled thing. Oh! Cross up. The cross up at the very end. If we just have the guard button. You, oh, if you would have held guard button, button, but then you would have been put right back in the chip situation. Yeah, and that's the exact yeah, that's, situation you had against Amaya. Well, I just had like oh, long, so thank you for catching yeah, that. Thank yeah. you for catching it, Zero. Might be, might be. I like also how in Dust Loop, you know, like this little like, uh, subtitle thing is you're going to use this move a lot. Yeah, no, this is, <laughs> that is the move of the It is, it is. And boy, with the move of La Diva, we'll see if we get any sort of representation from that because nothing is going to have a hard time making an approach against Bielsa, but we saw a chat and nothing. Not too thrilled about this matchup, and I can completely understand. But then again, you solved the 2B matchup. So, what's the worst that could happen? Saying that UL is bottom four when we've seen UL get like top three at Rangers, like ECT is crazy. <laughs> like, here we go. Nothing. Just getting the full combo launch. Sending have a nice day into the corner. Get the scoop. Okay. Have... Ooh. Okay, okay. See? And this is the mind game that nothing plays. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got the jump! But look, hey, yo. where do you think you're gonna go? You're still locked into the cage with the diva. I got you for three whole minutes. Nice oh, they clash! No! no! That's so cursed! Was I mean, have a nice day. Just let the dive kick do the work and nothing thought they had a brilliant play, but it just didn't go their way. Literally oh. any other clash would have been in nothing's favor. It was the fact that we were committed to dive kick. That's the only escape that have a nice day had. They couldn't change it up anyway. That's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. They caught a little bit of damage here for have a nice day. Nothing going for the jumps and have a nice day just slowly waiting them out, right? Like, like three times in a row, nothing's like, you gotta stop looking for it, right? Have a nice day saying, no, <laughs> no, I'm not. I know how to do. Oh. I love the buffer from nothing here. Very yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice spot Excellent dodge buffer. <laughs> Remind me, Stu, what is the Divas 2-2? <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> shut up! Shut up! It's the shut up! Yes, Laniva's secret technique. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Game one over to have a nice day. Nothing had a really good start in round one, but that earlier clash against the dive kick just put nothing to a bad spot. And uh, yeah. Wonder how much of it is just, you know, the matchup or nothing saying, yo, man, I just don't want to do this no more. <laughs> Down special scene. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, every time I see the scene, <laughs> the little, that little gangster comes on out, you know? Yeah, nothing to see. Wasn't that, like, supposed to be Al Capone? What's that guy's name? Yeah, Al Capone. Yeah, no, I think you think it is. Al Capone, you know? like yeah, listen, It was yeah, at man. first it was Al Capone, and they changed it to something else. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, you know, that, that mob's the stereotype, see? Oh, well. Oh, no. Excellent done. 
Oh, you're done here, actually. Off the wall, you still got another special opportunity if you want to. Yeah, not even necessary. Like we're seeing that, you know, have a nice day, able to deny the jump game plan from nothing that was so effective against Yoru Sensei, and I have to assume lay way back. Checks the Lariat yet again. Have a nice day, just in complete control. Even while being on, like, on the back foot, like, disengaging for most of this. Oh, good God. No! <laughs> you side swap like that? Buds is cooking! You know, that's the beautiful thing about Buds. We just don't get to see enough to really see the sauce this character has. And I swore up and down, like, at the beginning of Rising, we were going to see way more than what we do. But some characters mm -hmm. certainly have shown Bielsa about <laughs> We got the usage stats actually for this season of ranked play. You know, and some of the popular characters include. Oh, no, no, really, have a really just swat. Just get off of me. Just no, no, don't, don't touch me. I'm so not into this. Like grapplers, don't touch me, grappler. Who? Really awesome tools to cook with. Like I'll, I'll be, I'll say this. If you gave his toolkit and you gave it on a character that looked like Beatrix Naimaya, everybody and their mother would blame. him. And there'd be cries and nerf him to the ground because holy crap, like this wife who is sick, but it's not the time okay, we live in. Instead, it's all, it's all K-Tang and Dragalia and Armaya Mirror. If it was all looks, then Lancelot and Percival should be way up there. I know you guys, you guys are really hurting for some Lance and Percy. We got this excellent match though between Dragalia and K-Tang. As you mentioned, we got K-Tang in the default skin with Dragalia, bolting the color. Whoa. You know, you know, say this, I think Percival and Lance, they got the looks, but they're too prudish. Like, look at Belial, man. Like, he, he looks good, but he's out there. He just like, hey, what's up? But like, you have Lancelot locked up in a dungeon for three straight years. Like, <laughs> he needs help. He needs a true. Right, let's get in here, right? Jeez, Crumple State doesn't get the conversion here from Jagalia. No, what are you reaching for, k Tang? We took the cookies off the top shelf! No longer there! Nice 2-H. Get the launch. Ah. So far, K-Tang like under duress here. Gets the far L confirmed. A little bit of damage. Okay, a bit spicy. Dragali has to burn a second Brave counter, but look at this. K-Tang ready to anti-air that Crescent. Moment for each. One more mix. One block, get off of me. A shift kill scenario here. That's why you see K-Tang, nah. Ooh, ah! Not bad, not bad at all. Either that side was anime here. as hell. Battle. You teleport and then I'll teleport. And then I teleport, just go, wait a minute. Just like nothing personnel, kid. Just the whole. <laughs> I love this game, man. <laughs> all right, run up. K-Tang able to close. Clutch out that round. I'm I love Flingle Forp's there. name. Honestly, <laughs> yo, Flingle, Flingle Forp. Forp. Why is this the first time you're talking in this chat? Welcome in. You have like the best name out of the chat. I'm sorry, all of you need to do better. All of you, yeah. No, I mean, Grand Blue has some of the best names out there, man. Like, I'd be, not just the players, but like the community as a whole. There's just some, y'all just go to. Dragalia drops the combo. Whoa, oh, that'll work, that'll work indeed. <laughs> Too far to get the full cinematic though, but at the very least, we were able to relieve pressure. Get the stagger here. Dragalia should be able to just simplify this as much as possible and get a simple kill on the K-Tang and game one over Dragalia. Believe in victory. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. We got the plus frames off the rip. Dragalia really trying to establish this lead. Continue the momentum from game one, that early end here. Get the plus frames, and yeah, we'll steal the track. Absolutely, and y'all have to give a shout out. We crushed the Macharino codes. All 50 have been claimed, so $12.50 are in the Macharino now. Thank you so much. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Right now, k Tank running that offense against Dragalia. It's impressive move, but not really in a position to do much about it. Ultimate Sitsuna catches too far for a combo, so we just go for a jump cross up, catching a button of some kind from K-Tang. One throw, another throw. Fade back, okay. <laughs> I, Jeez. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, Zero. I tech throw and I die. I just hold on to block button. <laughs> Maybe I DP'd once there. Maybe. Oh, oh God. K-Tang really said, here's how you do it, kid. 
gonna hit him with that bottle jutsu. Oh my god, shredding that life bar. 50% extra damage on that super because we stripped away the final Bray point. Dang, around here. Ooh. That's a quick stop right there from Jigali after the approach. Okay, Tang, no. Gonna steal back that turn with the Rekka. Calls out the DP. Offense right here. Yeah, missed a couple oaky situations there from the side of K-Tang. Does get the overhead. Crescent Slash works out. K-Tang. Oh, we tried to anti-air right there, Zero, but the two heavy was a little too slow. Dragalia now hit him with that Bato Jutsu. It's not going to be enough to kill. Don't go through. Just going through some strikes. K Tang. Honestly, with the resources he has on hand, Zero. Ooh. One more hit. <gasps> Did I say throw didn't kill? I lied. I'm so sorry. Forget 30% extra damage. An extra good chunk on that throw. You know, just one more hit was still true. <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah, true. There's some chip damage involved. You know, like, I, my calculation was right. I'm chip. Cat. Nice. Dash up low. Record series here. Nice call out with the alt DP. A bit of frame traps right here. The triple strike overhead catching Dragali yet again. We try to escape with the crescent moon, but K Tank keeps the pressure tight enough. Full combo and extension. Go for the shimmy. Get off of me though, we say, with the brave counter. Oh, what the poke? Are you kidding me? So brave, but you have the life lead here. K Tank gonna take their first game, tying it up. All right, comes down to this. Battle one to see eight. which Narmaya player gets to take on Have a Nice Day's BLs above in loser semifinal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so anime, bro. I'll see you later, bro. <laughs> it's like those Kingdom Hearts 2, you know, the gameplay clips with that triangle reaction command stuff. Yeah. Like, boom, reverse. <laughs> That was, that was the opening round of fighting Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 2, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Core memory awakened. Okay, Tango in Dire Straits goes for the ultimate armor DP. Catches the meaty. Brave counter get off of me, Dragalia says. Goes for low. Hold pressure. Again! Okay, Tango spending. Ah! I can do that too, you know. And I have the health to back it up too. True, very true. The risk reward there was well calculated from Dragalia, pushing K-Tang towards the corner. Mario running up, gets the crush right there with that crescent moon. Should be ending this in a skybound art, I'd imagine. Hit kills. Let's see. Doesn't have an alt to back it up here, so we're gonna respect the medium Setsna. Okay, let's take the 5L. The fact that that worked too after a button mash tech, which means that there's a bit more advantage to Dragalia, who instigated the throw. K Ting was still able to catch the poke. Impressive stuff. I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. Nice. Quick poke, didn't believe him. Hit would come through, They're expecting maybe a guard cancel. Either way, we got our side swap. Uh, Hold on, we messed that up a little bit there. That was supposed to be full corner conversion in K Tang. Mm -hmm. A little bit too long on the next follow up there of the string. There's that Crescent Moon yet again. Gonna be sending Dragalia into the corner. Guess for game situation here. Dragalia spends a brave point. K Tang still has two, spends one. Down to our final points right here, and K Tang will find the blow onto Dragalia. The frame trap comes through, and Kevin advances on into loser semifinal to take on Have a Nice Day. Fridays and or Sundays right now is Dragon Ball Fighter stuff, so y'all can check that out. But right now, check out this winner's final. Tenor Mule versus Zeron. Texas Showdown winner's final rematch. Happening live. Oh my god, <laughs> Zeron already. Hey, Phil Garath, 81 with a $10 contribution. Thank you so very much. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And Zeram starting off has Tenor Mule in the corner, not spending any break points just yet. Punishes the attempt at a counter with that spot execution. And look at that immediately different note Ooh. on this matchup, right? Tenor Mule knows this matchup, and you can see that Zeram's not trying to jump on the first side of trouble, but go for that holy ladder reversal. So 
gloves are off. And the cat and are on. And Artie immediately go. Oh my goodness! Wait a minute. The cross under. That, oh my gosh. Zeron with the smart execution here to pass right through the empty hand and finish the job here. Zeron playing on a completely different level here. Let's see if Tenor Muno can step on up. But that's the play style that you know somebody who's been dealing with this since vanilla. I mean, we are at least two plus years in of dealing with this character. I, you know, I think we've got this pretty well handled on the side of Charlotta here, but unfortunately, it will be on the receiving end of a combo limit, Tenure Buell in control. Yeah, now Zero running that offense. Excellent block on the triple strike overhead, not even letting the little things catch him. Every bit of life matters, especially since that Six is tied for one of the lowest health characters in the game with Avatar Belial these days. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Even then, functionally, still healthier than Belial, who's spending his life just to, you know, function. Oh! Cross himself up one more time. Excellent neutral jump there from Zero. Steals it. Alt Noble. Oh, you can finish the job here, and you're certainly going to attempt it. There it is! Well done. All right, Zero. Starting off. With all cylinders firing, taking game one over Tenor Mule, holding up and back. So, this nice anti air right there, but oh, we weren't able to get the gateway to really combo after that pickup. So, it's gonna be some damage and opportunity left on the table. And Mule under a bit of duress, but we're chilling, I think. Oh, nice. Got the max range on the far heavy. Not quite able to get the wall bounce that we're looking for here, but Tenor Mule has won themselves. The corner, the neutral jump does not work out here, though. Nice two Alright, go ahead and let the holy ladder rock. Now look at this, I'm just slow playing this despite the life deficit. But that's why, right? Like, it's so scary to fight against the six. No conversion available. There was that, and we wanted to wait for that forward special to come back through, and unfortunately it's going to get devoured here by the alt six call execution there. Zero, you know, taking their time to go for that back dash here, that life that's it, right? Of course, you do have the alt six claw, but if you do want to be able to close the gap very quickly with the forward special, just as quickly as Teddy or Mule can with their own alt special. M is going to catch, but a huge anti here from Tenure Mule who says, Zero, I know where your favorite part of the screen is, so I am ready to bring my best button to deal with it. I about Art's going to come on through, forcing Zero down to about 25% HP. And a single break point to the name. Just eat the overhead jumping. Well played. Well played. Victory. Battle one. Right. Just like that. All tied up. Double flash. Able to deal with the approach from Zero, but now Zero takes a turn. Oh no! Can look play. here. Whereas, okay, but it, it, it works out for Zero. Gets a standing reset effectively. Should actually be able to have the kill here, I think, Zero. Take it again here, and we certainly will, yeah. <laughs> Get Tender Mule out of here. Huber, please. Your old comrade in arms. 6XL is going to catch Zero, attempting a brave counter, I presume. Nice counter on Wall Dive. But look at this again, Tenure Mule able to check Zerom, really denying Zerom that aerial space he wants to use and abuse. Oh Suffocating pressure, layering it behind the fireball with this ultimate six plot execution. Tenure Mule is just controlling everything on screen and he can possibly get his claws on. Zerom in the corner taking this combo. Should be our first round three of the set going into this game. There's at least a round ahead here. Battle three. Engage. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but still. <laughs> Just because you're a hitman player doesn't mean that you don't. You all, you both had to go up against Swift Master. Come on. Come on. Twitch is having a vibe. YouTube's confused. <laughs> Nice to yeah. round out here to at least strip down to our final Bray point. One touch away from victory. Tenure of Mule looking to take the lead here 2-1 in this winner's final set. And will succeed with the beautiful anti-air 5H. 
what we're seeing, I think, here is that from games two onward, Tenir Mule has just been able to shut down most of Zerom's air approaches, which is massive for dealing with this particular player because if he's able to roam free in those skies, well, it's your turn to die. But now Zerom gets the next hit. Get the full launch. And now we got Oki to play with here, Zero. Steve, you get that parry out. Nice. Got the ult six claw to close that gap very quickly. We saw the ult almost come out there on the side of Zeron, so way to shut that down to try to reset neutral. Ooh. Very yeah, Zeron yeah, playing with fire. To throw from Tenir Mule. Another one? Okay, I want one, but we can get it. Yeah, let's steal the turn back here. No break points on the side of Zeron, so. No, oh, oh. nice call out. Tenure Mule does succeed with the conversion into Raging Chain. Zeron wanted to try and bait out what I assume was a brave counter usage from Tenure Mule, but Tenure Mule just holding chill, saying, I got plenty of life. You got no brave points, no resources to really threaten me here, so what am I scared of? Finds the button press to catch. Punishes that 5U from Charlotta with his own. And I mean, Tenure Mule looking to almost close out this set heavily in his favor. No. Oh, God, that was slick. Able to catch with the gateway. Full combo and pick up here. Stops the jump out as well from Zerom. Tenure Mule just saying, I know how you want to play. and I'm not letting you do it. Nice. Got the overhead here. Two sweep again. Yeah, I don't know if this EX empty hand's oh. working out, and that 2H certainly didn't work out. Zero. Actually, no, you don't got the kill here. It'll hurt a lot, but you don't got the... I, I don't know. I misspoke. 50% <laughs> extra damage. It's a time for the lowest life in the game. <laughs> Zero had it. Maximum optimization was able to squeeze out that round victory. True to his clutch nature. And Zero, well, he's on the warpath now, Zero. There certainly is. Already has that corner position. Excellent. I mean, your back's against the wall. Oh, whoa, what a throw attempt. That's a fear for Zerom. He's gonna get the next nice. set, and he hit kills. Oh! <laughs> Bruh. No, it's too wall. Don't mess with the maneuverability of Charlotta. She is a menace. You see that fastball off the Noble strategy and what a parry. Go for that side slot because we're closer to the right side of the screen for that wall bounce extension. Excellent. Absolutely phenomenal. We bust out with the EX Holy Ladder, bait out the Thunder Flash, but back dash as well. So Tenure Mule safe after that parry attempt. Catches with that far heavy, and so there's going to be good damage on the Zerum. Tenure Mule going to set up for the Okazemi combo limit. Look at that Zerum choosing the jump, spacing it perfectly in order to deal with Ooh. the gateway. And there it is, right? We've seen Zerom give up the turn, try to steal it back with a cheeky DP, but Tenor Mule waits it out this time and says, thank you for the round. Well played, well played indeed. Has the corner, will take a lead here once again. Tenor Mule sitting on match point for winner's finals. Opting for gate here to, to negate the fact that there is going to be a Charlotte Ball attempt, but we already close in here. Zerom off the wall, take a little bit of a lead. Nice parry. Yep. Good option to deal with pretty much most of the options presented from that noble strategy. Mm -hmm. oh, too far from the dash out. Oh, the Shining Onslaught gets on the other side. Zero has escaped the corner, but still finds nice. no momentum for himself as Tenor Mule gets another important hit. Cross the confirm. There it is, the bust out with the DP. Side swap. Very tricky timing to get that confirm here to go coast to coast for that corner. We probably would have seen the ult six claw, but the shatter will finish the job here, breaking the mask as we go into round three. Battle three. Game five, final round between these two in our winner's final set and a massive two heavy from Tenured Mule to be able to get the corner. Zerum has all cooldowns available, no ultimate holy ladder. Conversion off that counter hit 5L. Zerum, one break point. May the sponsor in chat. Oh, wow. Hey, like, no way for the trying to win. <laughs> but too heavy here. Yo, someone call Oni. I need Oni to text in Twitch chat too. I need to see these sponsors like do a rap battle in chat. They, they just Oni did not come prepared. Wait a minute. I'm. Uh, 
Who's got Oni on speed? Though? That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> All right. Final touch scenario on either side here. Be careful with that dash L. That whip could have been punished. Mm -hmm. Great counter coming through. Serum holding position. This is so tense for either side because the next hit is going to win the set and secure our grand final seat. Winner side. Oh my god! Not enough yet, yet. Knights forever. Thank you for the $5. Serum still in this. Tender Mule with a break point. Six o'clock execution. We're looking for a Thunder Flash. We're looking for anything. Shining Onslaught. The last point is spent. Not quite in chip kill range. Uh, we go for the EX version just so we have ult available anyways. Just be very cautious. You are so close. Oh, we spot dodge this. You are pressing anything. Let's go. The back dash was absolutely terrifying though. To go for the slow chip kill is mm -hmm. critical in a moment like that. So congrats to Tenure Mule. We'll see Zero on a little bit later as we get into our first to two set. The final one of this top eight will be K-Tang up against Have a Nice Day. Starting off, have oh, a nice wow. day, able to block and punish the cross-up attempt from K-Tang. Catching with the low, it's gonna be massive damage here with that starter. Tiger pressure here. Nice block block. overhead. Look at that even, have a nice day, disengaging by jumping to say, go ahead, Crescent, strike me, you won't. Ooh. Nice action, dash L here from K-Tang. We do get coast to coast, tries to bait out the DP, and yet still you're in such a threatening range at the medium start. The damage here for K-Tang, gonna cash out with the Skybound Art. Have a nice day, losing the Brave Point. K-Tang goes to throw, tech from Have a Nice Day. Single Brave Point left. We have the Super Skybound Art available for Have a Nice Day, as well as that Command Throw Super if we so choose to use it, but Have a Nice Day, I haven't really used oh. that with Bubs just yet. The Karma buffs actually coming through to get this full pickup with that increased range on the Vacuum Effect, and Have a Nice Day with this Super Skybound Art. We'll take round one. Well played here. Have a nice day with that round up. That's a little call out from the beginning too. Just mm -hmm. the the pace of controlling that neutral ground against K Tag. That big call out on transient oh. is critical there. Karma to start things off. Having a patient approach against Narmaya when you're on the back foot is certainly crucial. Nice DP from K Tag though. Blocks. Yes. And look at that max range punish from Have a Nice Day using that two medium. Full pick up here, dash heavy for the Oki. They clash and have a nice day ready with a throw afterwards. Certainly close enough here. That is the go-to, right? Being uh, outside of your opponent going for DP, you're ultimately guaranteed that scenario. Otherwise, it's a tech. The hold the pressure from dive kick. Have a nice day waiting with the flies. Tries to find K-Tang to press something, but no. Still dire situation for K-Tang. Low on life, low on meter. Oh, yeah. Have a nice day. Could just again ooh, be ooh, ooh, so aggressive on the approach. Quite the roll from K Tang. That could have been devastating for Have a Nice Day. Uh oh. Okay. That was uh, some spaghetti. It looked like K Tang was trying to go for a raging strike. Gets caught by the ultimate karma. Yeah, we may have attempted to go for a spot dodge there, but it kind of made timing a little tricky here with the EX Black Flies. Yeah, or maybe even a jump. I'm not quite sure. Mm -hmm. but... It is air unblockable. All right, look at this. Just cycling through pressure. Try to see what K Tang's reaction to a shimmy is. It is a button press. Wake up with buttons. Okay. No side swap available. No pickup available. The far heavy, but no fall through. Opted to go for Crescent Slash right away. Didn't expect the hit to come in. All right, able to get the full pickup in the corner, but. Kick on cooldown for a little bit. K-Tang though checked by this far range from Have a Nice Day. Full pickup and links as well. Oh, this is fun. Sauce! Hey. Let's see if K-Tang has any answer against Have a Nice Day. It starts off so well for K-Tang, but I think a little bit here is just that damage output coming from Have a Nice Day, being able to convert to much larger damage than what K-Tang has been able to do. Since so much of the interactions that have gone in K-Tang's favor have been the mid -screen. So shorter combo rounds. Now that we own this corner, we want to try to keep it, but the EX dive pushes us right back in the mid -screen scenario again. K-Tang respecting the pressure, but not blocking at his ankles. So Have a Nice Day able to get a couple of hits here and there. Calls out the Crescent perfectly with that jump back. And the Ooh. flies, they intercept the ultimate crescent move. Skip this neutral girl, you can't. Nice 
stays looking very strong, picking our moment here very carefully. Run up 6 6 elbow. We're too far for the five. Elbow confirm. Have a nice day. Doesn't have the one hit confirm. We no! dropped the go. KJ, why would you throw? What do we got though? No break points here. Have a nice day. Just needs to open you up one time. Hey, tech. It's getting worse. Tech is available. Hey, Tang. Keep things as short as possible. So stressful. And oh. Sweet. Out of nowhere, man. The 6 6 M low. Yeah. No attempt. Or did you think it was going to be block into throw? Not expecting the initial hit to come through. I mean, you can only speculate or ask, you know, K Tang themselves how that ended up here as we move into the loser's final set, Zeron versus Have a Nice Day. And I can't believe I'm seeing this matchup. What year is it, Mangaka? <laughs> oh, it's the tail end of 2024, and here we are. Something's never changed. Okay. Dash L to kick things off here. Sure, this isn't vanilla. <laughs> this isn't vanilla. You probably feel like, you know, coming out of the jungles of Jumanji right now, uh, aren't you, you know? Thought he was going to uh, recover fast off his block. That makes sense. Yep, yep. Because it was a pretty high jump in open. Yeah, it's quite true. Quite true. Oh, man. Well, and you know, another thing too, right? Like, Beelzebub, very strong character, but not a lot of representation. So some of these fringe case situations can come up and just haven't run into them before, right? So but now we can arm ourselves with knowledge and say, if that ever happens again, dunk in your ass. Right. Oh, make nice sure close next time for the throw. <laughs> nice and close, right? Yeah, yeah, K-Tang. Well, still, great run, K-Tang. You played phenomenally well tonight, and now we get to see Zero. I'm gonna have a nice day throw down. USA versus Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I totally get that set in the K-Tang. Yeah, right. yeah, right. I, I mess up with it. No, I'm laughing at that immediately. I can't tell you how many times I'd be like, no, this can't be right. I'm doing mm -hmm. this. Hey, thank you for hanging out with us, of course. Ooh, dash L. Okay. Also, good luck at your event on the 14th. I think you're going to be headed out to that one. I'm guessing. I'm just taking a peek at the Discord. Okay. Launch right here. All right, all tied up in rounds right now. Have a nice day, Zerom. Again, pretty measured stuff. Ever since, like, Winner's Final has hit, like, we haven't really seen, like, that Zerom that we had to see in pools and top 16 where mm -hmm. so much of like you know that layer one was able to check like all the opposition nah zero is he'd be sweating up here <laughs> it is zero right you do get the spot yeah. dodge we see oh Ooh. my goodness okay, we have a block ultimate shining onslaught for the punish 6xl to get the confirm as well well executed by zero on the strategy shining onslaught point blank okay what are we trying to crush with that <laughs> oh, the two H. Triple overhead, come through. Triple strike overhead, rather. Twas but a single overhead. Yeah, I mean, with that over, with that life lead, you could take a few of those overheads. Be okay. I'd rather take those than any low start opener here. Ooh! One spot dodge to call out a brave counter, so have a nice day. Had to spend a second one, and just like that, oh. and finally, we saved it for a loser's final appearance. My worst deal impression, I apologize, y'all. All right, though, we still have to wait here and see that final throw interaction here. We start chipping away. Tandem at the top is still going to come through here for some chip damage, and oh. there we go. Fires it off. Time the flies perfectly to catch the recovery with the second wave. So have a nice day. We'll just barely scratch out a game one victory. Okay, you're almost Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> Spot dodge there again. <laughs> Ed, 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 Ed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jason, that is a high compliment. Thank you. Thank you. Go down. Ooh. Nice snipe with the Holy Ladder here. Gonna get the cross up. Good guard cancel, but unfortunately have a nice day. Does get devoured for that 2-H attempt. Double strategy comes through for the extension as well. Have a nice day in this corner. Remember the open setup. There's that type kick yet again. 
Oh, we didn't wake up with an ultimate DP. I think we woke up with ultimate shining onslaught instead. And have a nice day. Had the 6XL melee just in time. Well, combo and launch deal. We did? Not quite. Oh, no! Okay. Ooh. My god. <laughs> you sniped that throw. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think you grabbed the startup or something right there, because it seemed like right? you were kind of far away for that throw to even work. We're slowly beginning to progress beyond the realm of mortal comprehension when it comes to the interactions. Let's just lose this final, y'all. There we go. Running this up. 6XL for offense. Have a nice take in the back dash. The counter from Zerom. Oh, we oh. got the cross up. Have a nice day, I think. Wanted to go for ultimate DP, but Zerom got the cross up on it, so we had a different special move come out. Tragic. Yeah, it was the back special that came through instead. That's so unfortunate. Part of oh, the way no, that you had to trick him. No. You woke up and then you got your DP out. Okay. Now, now have yeah. I stay at chip kill range? That was. That's so unfortunate because have I stay had an excellent teleport here, but didn't press anything on the forward dash attempt there. Zerom literally just needs to chip away. If you give Zerom a moment, it's over. Have I say needs a single open. But look at this, like Zerom, even in this situation, right, where you're at this range where Shining Onslaught could just be your your game, your round ender, rather. So reluctant to throw it out until finally we're like, okay, they're not going to react because we know Have a Nice Day has those reactions. And in a game with, sim with simple input supers, you have to keep that on your mind at all times. Oh, absolutely. Good roll. What a jump in there. Zero not following through a Charlotte ball. That's all right, though. Nice. Okay, Shining Onslaught able to deal with the dive kick. All right. Yo. Have a nice day layering their different zoning options to catch Zerom's different defensive choices. So good. We backdash to avoid the Brave counter there. Sandwich right here. Nice. And we call out the jump. Have a nice day said, I know who I'm fighting against. Let me show you the tech. Jeez, hit that combo limit. Ever mm -hmm. closer to victory, though. We just, again, that final touch. Plenty of resources on the table, but Zerom has made comebacks like this before. Nice knockdown. Brave counter wars. Both sides stop at their final point. Flies come through. Yes. With all of those plus frames, have a nice day. Just sends out the next ultimate skill. It's taking a 2-0 lead on Zerom. Are we about to see a 3-0 victory in loser's final? <laughs> Time will tell here, because if Have a Nice Day could pull this off with Beelzebub, no less, that is a serious accolade to write down to round out your November, <laughs> for sure. Mm -hmm. Nice patience, but of course, Holy Ladder to back it up. The medium not going to work out here for Have a Nice right, 6 6 comes through. Catch with that far medium. Full pick up here from Zerum. Loki Zemi. Should just be some simple strike throw pressure. Backs away here. Gives a little bit of breathing room here for the BLs above. Oh, there's that jump nice. from Zerum. Have a nice day. Not able to get the meaty with that heavy normal. And so Zerum will go up around. This game three, but can he get this second round to get himself on the board? Oh, nice. Max range here. We'll get the back special to follow. Full charge on nails. There's that DP. Have a nice day. Representing it again. Down with the classic jump. Running offense. Respect the pressure. Let's get that close heavy counter hit. Reset, though. Very interesting, because we do have the extra lot of ball available. I don't think it would have gotten the wall bounce, but still, a corner carry would have been ideal. Look at that. No panic from Have a Nice Day. Just walked back and out of the range of that raging strike attempt from Zerom, who was already trying it pretty far away. Have a Nice Day gets the Karma set up. We are able to block it. We go for the shimmy. Have a Nice Day doesn't fall for it. Brave Counter Wars. Oh, this is massive here for Zerom, but it's not a launcher. It's just a combo ender. One throw. Any hit kills. We bait the DP. My goodness. Zerom finally putting a game on the board. Very interesting, because I think we tried to go for the 5U interaction there from Have a Nice Day to get this quick side swap out of the corner, but Zeron was already right on top of you, so that was such a big risk coming from Have a Nice Day. Yeah, you don't really see too much of that 5U from Beelzebub used from Have a Nice Day, because at this level of play, it is incredibly reactable and punishable at certain ranges, so knowledgeable players will hang out of that range where they know they can cover the teleport spot. 
press in your face if you try to approach. So you see, have a nice day. Really use that 5U only in like knockdown or setup situations where it's completely safe. Just lets them close the gap to maintain their offense. And Zerom, after that game win, is on all cylinders here, going all out. Putting Have a Nice Day back into the corner. Sweep down here with that noble strategy, of course. What? Off the wall? Oh, I swear to God, if you would have gotten a conversion, I've been so sad. Oh, it would have been sick, but I've been so sad down to my <laughs> core. Nice oh, cross under. Yeah, I like that. We're going to combo damage just for the screen positioning, but we're already being pushed back into mid screen. So that meant that that was basically some damage we left on the table. Campbell not paying off, but. Find the next hit from 6XL. Run Zerom into the corner. Trying to hold this space. We know that Zerom eventually wants to try and jump out. Yeah, sit right underneath that timer. It's a perfect position right there. It removes oh. the opportunity for Zerom to jump. And my goodness, you pulled out a medium button. We do get the whip punish there. Have a nice day. It's still looking worse for... Oh, wait a minute, 2H! Yo, wait a minute. This is practically unscaled. We're taking extra 30% damage. I think Zerom's done for in this round. Oh my god! I would like oh. to submit my will it kill. Thank you. First off, sound design, side games. Like, that was beautiful. That explosion. Oh. That's how it hits. Okay, counter, get off of me. Them will catch. DP on the run up. Oh, there. Jeez, what did we shut down? It was the Ford special. No way. Zerom oh, was able to land with that 5U to catch out. Have a nice day's attempt to run some offense. We get close and personal. Brave counter, say get off of me. Dive kick on cooldown. Back throw. It's fine for Zerom. Oh my god, you made that call? Don't press against me. You Zerom five, setting a miss. Okay, but wait, we got the 2H. We may be down on Brave points. So we're going to spend a little bit early on this SBA here. Just mm -hmm. get it back. Zero, I'm in a guest in four tournament life situation. We look for the spot dodge. Brave counter wars come through. There's no more points left. The oh! DP reaction! <laughs> the patience was not there. Zero, I'm let her rip like a Beyblade and have a nice day. Said, read my name. Thank you. Two casual to mode to play out. So definitely check it out. They do the rotating cast based on the winners of previous Arc World Tour events. So they get a nice rotation. If you missed out, folks, on any of these matches leading into this grand finals, you're probably watching the VOD right now. But please check out youtube.com slash camp and never sleep to get match to match back to back here to get your fill of a glorious week of grand blue action here on TNS with Tender Buell starting things off on this grand final. This is a run back of winner semifinal where we saw Tenor Mule be the only one so far who's been able to take Have a Nice Day down. However, that set was only first to two. And so now Have a Nice Day has that extra game to play with. So we'll see how crucial it is in deciding this grand final set. Dive kick comes through. The Thunder Flash reaction. Okay, Mule. Okay, he got a kick to him. Well, actually, finish this job here. Nice job, Tenor Mule. Yeah, actually, you mentioned something important in Twitch chat. It's crazy that Grand Blue ain't on sale right now. Like the, like the autumn sale, the winter yeah, sale that, kicked off. Well, they just ended their sale, sale, though. Yeah. Like, that is, yeah. Like, they, they oh, literally man. just had a sale that was, like, 25 bucks for the base gas. So. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep my eye out in the future because I got a gaming laptop. I want to be able to lap this on the go. And our System Works games run pretty well on the PC. I think. Street Fighter Six, a little bit of a different story when it came to my laptop. It's launched for corner. Yeah, we're about to even the odds here in terms of health. You should be able to... No, actually, we stopped building up Gage a little bit ago. Holy smokes. Yeah, we're maxed out on Have a Nice Day side. And then Mule tries to get a whip punish here, but it's Have a Nice Day who gets the hit. Full pickup from the wall. Not really close enough to get anything after the six itself. Spot execution. Full sides down to a final break point. Faint the wall dive. No. Pixels, bro. Little mm. walk back from Have a Nice Day. 6XL whiffs. He gets a punish. Just masterful play. And you know that, you know, if Have a Nice Day was in range, he blocked that, and that 5L never came up. I'm sorry that 6 reminds me of Tao Kaka, because 6 normally does not have these cat claws. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a, a weapon skin. 
This is a very much a weapon skin but also, from the Belial maybe, maybe it's a positive, right? Maybe you like Cal uh, uh, Positives. <laughs> All right, I see you. <laughs> All right, the gate, yes. Well, at least handle the first wave of that black fly set up. Able we'll to evade through the rest of it. Fox execution, just disengage. We jump. Puts us a little too close to the corner, but we're back in mid-screen already. Goes for a reset. Have a nice day. Not panicking. Just holds the block button. And it's broken. Oh, jeez. Our cancel out here. Final brave point on the side of Half a Dice Day. Five you so brave to go for that. Hasn't represented it at all yet in this game. And I mean, these two are fighting so hard. It's just game one, bro. <laughs> I mean, excellent choice of song to round out this grand finals, though, like for real. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a spot dodge. Very fortunate for Half Life Day to go oh. for that back dash, but the quick toe poke, the stand medium. Closes out the round. Man, like this stand medium button from Have a Nice Day is like MVP normal at the moment. Just his ability for Have a Nice Day to walk back into space and say, <laughs> get the side swap into full combo as well. Oh, that is nasty stuff. Please just leave me alone. <laughs> just get away. Dive kick to set up the Oki. Have a nice day. Just on a blistering pace right now. Oof. Right. At least they round up here on the side for Have a Nice Day. See if we got the Any answer back from Tenure Mule? Oh. Trying to stop short with that far heavy. Block on Snake Strike, and yeah, what a challenge there. After the additional approach there. Like, yeah, you are plus two, but you don't get free reign off of what you want to do in the next interaction. Frame trap, though. From the execution series. Have a nice day put in the corner. Side swaps with that 5U. Baits out a two heavy from Tenure Mule. Both combo here, 6-6 six, six heavy to extend. Cash out with a super at the end of this? No. Just take the combo limit. We want to use the super for the next kill and threaten that command throw super as well. So here we go. Fox execution, close the gap. Have a nice day. We're poking through here, but we come off the wall, get punished by the ultimate flies. Have a nice day, avenges that 2-0 loss in winter semis. 2 elite so far in grand finals, but now we can see if Tinder Mule needed those extra games. Bait out the two heavy anti air. Hey, yo! No. Heavy. Right, bring it down, coast to coast carry here. Nice run up throw. Mm -hmm. Ambiguous, but have a nice day. Just holding that block button, no doubt, to option select between left and right. Oh, yeah, this is yeah, the follow up jump. And you put out a jump medium there, so it allows for half I say to come down with the punish. <laughs> jump heavy, rather, but either way, we still get the sick claw finish. Not quite. We fight for every point of health that we have. Jumping out already. Oh, oh my god. No! You just Tenured had the block. I think Tenured Mule anticipated a throw or the super throw from have a nice day but have a nice day said i know you were expecting it so let me go for my super skybound art to punish your jump absolutely brilliant sequence have a nice day at tournament reset point no i want have a nice day to come in and say actually i just put it out there i don't know what's happening actually i miss input bro like <laughs> that's what i'm saying Rowan. <laughs> Whoa, we walked forward. And Mule just gets a close heavy starter. It's the wall splat as well. The offense looking for a reversal. Brave counter comes through. Karma. Respect it. Block the triple strike overhead this time. A little antsy. We eat that low. Just full screen running from Have a Nice Day. Triple strike overhead. Yet again, Mule. Going ground. Respects the dive kick. One point left for both players. With the wall bounce Ooh. like that, though, you stood up against a character with no overhead threat at that range. Yeah. Wow, a quick 3-0 from Have a Nice Day against Tenure Mule. 
the rise of Beelzebub in this bracket, but also it is have a nice dance, right? Like, true. <laughs> we get the throw here, so no escapes. Tenor nice. Mule. Oh, welcome to the slam, Cat Jam. A couple jump heavies there to start things off. A little safe jump heavies, too. The hand caught you jumping. Guard cancels, keeps the turn. Whoa. Situation. There it is, the 5U to teleport, get us in range for a meaty 6-6-L. Bob's able to consistently just keep Ooh. offense rotating. Uh-oh, oh, no. oh, jump again! Are you serious? Oh, no, have a nice day. He's feeling it. Spot dodge, but then the dive kick comes through. Brother, you did... You did the command grab super at... Okay. I frames, right, man. Cool. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. super. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just eat. We've gone to that layer of RPS. After not showing it all tournament and finally using it for the first time in Loser's Final, have a nice day. Mm -hmm. Representing that option. Yo! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh. Nothing personal, kid. Tenor oh. Mule with the side swap 6XL. That was hype, but have a nice day. Gets the dive kick to win. Yeah, no. The throw? Oh, Spot nice. Spot dodge? Not very um... Nice. All right, so we've got our parry. Corner position again. Six claw. We could have escaped out, but... That early break here off the guard cancel. Not quite gonna get the advantage. The empty hand here. There's no interaction coming from Have a Nice Day, but what Open a gate of demons! Open this gate up. Tenor Mule trying to just make this as high damage as possible. The combo Whoa. limit is reached, but so is the limit of Have a Nice Day's health bar. Oh, thank goodness. That final touch on the raging chain like that. If it didn't finish, I don't know, like, the stress would have been insane. Let me flash yet again. Tenor Mule gets the side swap. It's gone down three games in a row to have a nice day, but now we are in the reset grand finals. So, Tenor Mule trying to show that level of play and dominance that you had in that winner semifinal set, but you know, to have a nice day's credit, he wasn't playing like this in that set. No, not at all. I'll try to go for the anti-air. That's all right. We've got the heavy follow-up there right after the dive kick. And this time, not going for the 5U follow-up. We've already shown a couple times now. And we've seen that Have a Nice Day is reacting to the side swap. Mm -hmm. yeah, Demon. Oh, and we get huge. a counter hit as well. The full pickup from Tenor Mule. A hit gifted by the hands of fate itself. Tenor Mule going to cash out with the super. That was huge. The gate of demons hitting ever in favor for te Tenor Mule here. One final touch. Oh no. Go for karma. Cancel. Watch out, watch out. Yeah, you're jumping for your dear life because you know. You know I mean, it's, it's going to happen. Yeah, it's. 6XL. Six 6XL six 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 again. We jump yep. again. Brave counter. I'm so scared. And now we're at chip kill do... range. Yes. Well, we don't have to beat her to go for any of our alt, alt skills here, so we want to try to walk this down. Good roll. The ultimate karma! Catching that full screen gate of demons. Have a nice day. Clutches out, finds victory in the face of defeat, and Tenor Mule is on a four game losing streak. That's a spot that you do not want to be in, right? You just spent your super, you're down two brave points with no resources, and your opponent being Beelzebub. Having full resources makes it all the more nerve wracking to deal with in the neutral. You're fishing for that gravity well to come through the old karma. Oh, man. I mean, just the mental stress being inflicted too, because every time I have a nice day, ran up, he was threatening a 50-50 super. Yep. Like, do I go for super throw or do I go for super catch your jump? Yep, we go for the alt catch your jump there off that karma, but this corner should finish the job here. Ah, combo oh, limit. There we go. Fine. Yeah, have a nice day. Press the button. Had to go for some kind of hail mary to try and get back in that round. You're not worried about a perfect cost anything until your mule gets a second round win. Uh, Little, little scope. Yeah, but we got the plus frames after. Jump back, nice. Can't quite convert it, and we don't overextend. Smart call out there from Tenure. But again, the way we've been burying the time on Black Flies, Tenure Mule has not been able to successfully roll every single interaction here. We've seen the attempt there to evade, but it's just not working out as efficiently as Tenure would like. Great counter war comes uh, through. We bust out with the DP, have a nice day with an excellent air to air on the empty hand. Demons looking for any kind of opportunity, but have a nice day disengaging with these back dashes. Tenor nice. Mule with the maximum range pickup. Gonna spend the brave points, not the brave points, but the skybound gauge. 
Or if you get the super, regenerate his break point. Take have a nice day's final. And we jump back, looking for anything. 6XL, six full confirm. Tater Mule should be able to get on the board, zero. Reaching strike and absolutely cleans it up here. Okay, this could be the start of the comeback that Tenure Mule needed. We let Grand Final slip away pretty much uncontested, but we are fighting back in the reset. Blow for blow in terms of set game so far. Forward roll, not gonna be able to deal with the second wave of flies. Thunder Flash and deals with Oki. Oh, spacing? That's so, I, there's no way you knew. Are you measuring yeah. angles like that? You playing geometry that fast, Tenure Mule? All right, there we go. The low, the back. Oh, EX special to work out for you here. Yeah, Deben, six o'clock execution. Next day, will take his turn. Mm -hmm. Enough throw. We're representing that option again. Second serving. We're back to this sequence. Do we see a third? No. Brave counter. Time Tenure Mule doesn't spend no. it. But you will get caught. Move up, move up, move up, move up, Enough. It is useless. All right. It's our world, though, man. With the anti-air. <laughs> oh god, he thinks this is. Oh no. He's trying to spot dodge that dash. Oh, he's looking at that follow through. Oh, not able to get a heavy. punish on that. Yeah, I can't believe the jump heavy whiffed entirely. Full launch, combo as well, have a nice day. Oh, oh catches a button press here, and Zero, I think, have a nice day, about to take us to a 2-1 lead in Grand Finals reset. It's not looking good for the US of A. Believe in victory. Battle one. And here we go, potentially the final. This is a perfect song, Aaron DeMack, for the uh, Grand Finals. Like, I, uh -huh. I totally agree, like, this is it. Imagine Evo Grand Finals in this track. Green King. <laughs> nice. JH to keep you locked in the corner. Let's go into the playlist. Hell yeah. Shout out to the Evo champ, Aaron DeMack, hanging out in Twitch chat. Go, got the heavy. Ground bounce. Quick little flip out there. Empty hand. Trying to bait out reactions from having a nice day. Mm -hmm. kick comes through. Finally, a brave counter is spent. Okay, we were able to escape that situation. I mean, look at the caution that Teddy Mule has been trying to play with, but yet still going to get called out for the anti air attempt because of the fact that we delay that fall with the dive kick from Have a Nice Day. JM not gonna connect here. Oh, both sides ready for the clash with a throw tech. That's so high level. 2M comes through for Have a Nice Day. The full pickup is here, and we are going to potential tournament points. Potentially, we are here at tournament point for Have a Nice Day. All right, so we got our EX bow. Push out here. Going in the flies, poking with that dash heavy. Thunder flash, the consistent answer for Tenure Mule. Oh my god, that was so scary to knock over the fall after that fireball. Ultimate six claw execution. We get the jump. Have a nice day, just gonna block this out. Tenure Mule has to weather this storm a little bit more. 6 6 will get low. Turn. Ooh, nice little pickup. And you should be able to get the kill here, actually. We get to the Skybound gauge. No, the combo limit was hit. So Tenor Mule needs to find one more hit. Finds it with that 5L. Very brave here, but you still had that life lead anyways to take that chance. All right, what do we got this Tenor Mule? Oh, what a parry! Instead of trying to go for any air attempts, let me go for last ditch effort on parry. Oh, no. Flies are able to beat the gate. Mm -hmm. Short little pick up there. Tenor Mule in the corner, but fighting his way back. Disengages. It's too soon on that too heavy yet again. And the Thunder Flash gets baited, but have a nice day. Not in position for the full pickup. We somehow get the next jump in as well. We're going to stabilize. Raging Strike and Chain. It's, look, it's certainly looking like it's the end here for Tenure Buell. Do you have to flip out here? 50% on your SBA gauge on the side of have a nice day. And the 2M converts into the ult special finish. 
That's the 3-1 victory on the side of Have a Nice Day for this Grand Finals reset, no less.